Okay, so after showing you how to take this photo, now I want to show you how we retouch this photo to get exactly what you're seeing on the screen now. And you can see this is the photo before, and you can see my flashes were a bit too strong, so I'm getting a bit of noise from the highlights on the wall behind, and a little bit of lens flare in the corner here and over here. And you can just see the edge of the table back there. So it wasn't a perfect photo out the book. Also lost a lot of color from the champagne. But after touching it, this is what we got. And I think you'll agree that looks a whole lot better. So let's get started. I also just want to remind you guys, let's just check out Facebook. Go search for photography photography retouching and you'll see he has a Facebook group that we've created and all my actions and everything can be downloaded on this group and you can join and share your files you can share your images you can just learn and help us learn more and you can see he has my videos that we'll be sharing and then also join us subscribe to us on YouTube under Craig Buerta and you'll see if you go to my playlists you'll see that there's photography photo retouching tutorials and how we did that and if you go into how we did that there is the videos of exactly how we did our shots and retouched them so i hope this helps you guys and enjoy okay so let's go what we're gonna do is i'm gonna first take this image and just make sure it's straight i know it's a kind of a monotonous thing but to do that and at the same time I just want to crop it a bit I was very wild on this image so I just want to crop it and just get that a lot closer there we go and then I'm going to press auto tone into ooh, that looks horrid see computer doesn't always get it right but bring the exposure back down and that actually looks pretty good what I'm gonna do is actually brighten the highlights and then darken the shadows not too much and bring up the clarity and I want the vibrance up and the saturation just a tad up okay now you can see we've got a lot of distortion here still catching the light areas from the highlights but don't worry we'll sort that out in Photoshop so let's open this up in Photoshop now okay so here we are in Photoshop so the first thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this layer drag it down there and then I'm going to run my next software and remember I'm using the Intuos Wacom 4 tablet so I've customized all my menus so I'll go into next software color effects pro 4 and then you'll see there's quite a nice difference but I'm just going to go and bring the opacity all the way up now you can see a much better detail in this champagne that's falling and that's the only effect I'm going to use in color effects pro 4 so with this effect all I'm going to do is actually take this layer mask here for the smart filter and I'm going to invert it and I'm going to take my paintbrush Ooh, still selected from the last tools let's just reset that brush okay and we go up I just want a nice round soft brush I'm gonna take oh sorry forgot to change brush size take that down 100% brush with a white color and I'm just going to paint in exactly over that flow so that we really don't bring out any more grunge in the blacks as such okay so we've got that okay so it's very simple just painting the detail back into that there we go okay now I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to clean up a bit because you can see there's a lot of artifact a lot of noise and we're just going to get rid of that so the first thing I'm going to actually do is I'm going to sample this black color and it's perfectly black I'm going to take a black brush, 40% opacity, and just paint in. And why I'm using low opacity is just to build up that effect so that if there is any anomalies or any funny stuff, I can 
just match it. You can use a 100% brush, it'll still work. And I'll just get rid of some of these, keep it nice and clean. And we get rid of some of these. Okay, and just those. Okay, I want to keep that. Okay, there we go. Okay, I just want to go back to Color Effects Pro, that layer. I'm going to select the layer mask, brush, 40% will be fine. I see there's a nice reflection there, I just want to enhance a bit. There we go, that looks better. I'll just pull it out there, there we go. Okay, so now I just want to focus a little bit on the rings. And you can see that they're just visible. So I want to take adjustments layer, I'm going to go curves, and I'm just going to bring up the mid-tones quite a bit and invert this layer mask. All I'm going to do is take brush 40% and just paint in a little bit more brightness onto those rings and maybe just give that that nice flash that we caught there. Okay, there we go. I'm going to create a new layer because I like that starburst effect on the ring. So we're going to go stars and take our brushes go to brush tools and I want a starburst now I download all these brushes from various sites and I will try and remember to actually put the link to some of these brushes in the description of this video and make the brush size smaller give us a little bit more maybe a little bit bigger there we go and one there, and one there, and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur, not too much Gaussian blur this time, bring it to about there, okay, that should actually look perfect, that's perfect, I like that, okay, so now I want to add a bit more red coloring to this champagne that's coming on, so I'm going to go new layer, new layer, just call it red, and then change it to soft light go into my color picker choose a nice bright red change my brush back to a nice soft brush we're going to change it to opacity of 40 percent and let's put some color in here there we go it looks nice awesome and I'm just going to change the opacity to 10% and just put a little bit of color into this here. There we go. That looks awesome. And we can just paint back here 40%. There we go. That looks good. Awesome. Okay, so that's basically where I'm going with that. All I'm going to do now is just do... Yeah, wrong button. Uh, I'm going to do a sharpening, bring out some details within that wine, or champagne, sorry. So frequency separation sharpening, and you'll see all these actions are on my YouTube channel. There we go, just bring out some of those booblies, and then just change our passage to 20% and we bring out some of this here. There we go, awesome. Okay, and that is actually all I'm going to do on that. I think that looks fantastic. It's nice and simple and clean. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you.